here <coughs> with a um a pre-made buckets server 100% usable it's 1.7.2 and it's not spigot it's bucket so yeah you go to this link it's the, it should be in the description yeah I already put it in the description my YouTube description right there so you click on this link it won't bring you to this but since I made it I just have to click on that sorry um, yeah it's just kind of cold over here so it downloads you this thing um, everything you can delete except for this all the other files can be regenerated so this is for Mac PC and Linux so the fir first things first uh, uh, you won't have to do this. I, I'll, I'll put. I'm gonna put the codes into the uh, description. But let's let me do this. Setting up a bucket server. Oh, that's not the right thing. No, oh, here it is. Okay, let me just bookmark this. I go to this page way too much. Bucket wiki. Okay, so whatever you are, like Windows, Linux, so this would be the code for Mac, Windows, and where's Linux? Linux, where's Linux? right here Linux so you copy your code if you're Windows you copy that one Linux copy that one on Mac so I'll copy this one then you want to open up your text or for Windows all you do is like left click new new text document yeah so and then you make it a plain text I don't know if yours is already playing Windows, but you, you paste what you copied from that. Either it was Linux, Windows, whatever. And now, since this is craftbucket.jar and this was craftbucket.jar, I put it as craftbucket.jar for your convenience. And because if it was spigot.jar, you would have to do spigot.jar. It wouldn't make sense to do spigot and then craftbucket here. So. Since this is already done, you save it as start.command for Mac. And for Windows, you save it as start.bat. And for Linux, I, I really... I think you have to save it as... Craft bucket sh. I don't know. I have no idea. So if you're Linux, you should know. I really chmod is. It doesn't tell you what to save it as. So if you're Linux, do some research. I'm sorry, I'll try to figure it out and tell you guys, but basically, since it's already saved, for Windows, you can just start running it. For Linux, you have to do this code with me. Not the same code, but this uh, similar code. I'm sorry for Linux. I really have, like, I, I've i never met anybody for Linux. I, no, I just know that this is for all versions because I didn't include this dot this start command prompt. So next thing you have to um for Max you do chmod a plus x space oops chmod 
space a plus x. That's what you do. Then you drag it in there. No. Dang, I messed up. I'm sorry. There. Nope. New window. CH mod A plus X space. So there's two spaces. After mod and after X. So you drag, not the craft bucket, the start. Then you hit return. And now it can run the bucket server right here. And for Windows, you didn't, you don't have to like do this, all this, because for Windows, you and then once it's done, you stop. And because for Windows, it's like an automatic start. You don't have to have. Yeah. So let me show you what I mean. Okay. Whoops. So I copy that in. Say I did this new document. Uh, heck. Say I made it a plain text. And say I uh, just saved it as start. That, but it doesn't really have to be start dot command. It can be server dot dot command. It doesn't really matter. It just has to be dot command. Okay, save that right there. And when you try to run it, this is what it says because you don't have appropriate privileges. So that's what I meant, guys. So, yeah. And I will be making plugin tutorials in the future, so if you like this video, leave a like, share it if, if your friends want a bucket server. And thank you, I spent a lot of time. Actually, I was lucky to get a copy of these before I, uh, the bucket closed down. I don't know why they closed down. They were make, they were supposed supposedly making a lot of money. Now Spigot's getting all the money, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, share this video, and I'll see you later, guys.